Now, we have all witnessed exactly what happened with The Mandalorian Season 2 by introducing characters like Ahsoka Tano and, yes, even Boba Fett into the mix by creator Jon Favreau, George Lucas, and, yes, even Dave Filoni to really kick things off for this new Star Wars universe. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one exciting thing about the future of Star Wars is that, yes, we do know that they already have over a dozen titles that they are currently working on for Disney Plus alone. You know, they only announced half the batch of the TV shows just a couple of days ago, and another batch will be announced sometime in 2021, so expect a load of other TV shows coming our way as well. Now, on top of all of this, you know, the Mandalorian series has been off to a great start, especially with season two really setting the bar here with, you know, Ahsoka Tano being portrayed by Rosario Dawson, Boba Fett coming back into the mix, portrayed by Morrison. He did an amazing job. And here we are just three days away from the season two finale for The Mandalorian. And a lot of fans have been very much intrigued about what's to come in the near future. Now, with that being said, we do know that Jon Favreau is a very passionate fan. He knows what he's doing. He loves the Star Wars fandom. He wants to make things right. He wants to reunite the Star Wars fans around the entire globe. That's his ultimate goal, and he's already beginning to succeed in doing that. Now, without a doubt, one of the fan favorite characters within Star Wars Rebels is Ezra Bridger, all right? So Ezra Bridger is one of the biggest characters created by Dave Filoni making his debut in Star Wars Rebels and is getting ready to come into the form of live action by Jon Favreau for the Mandalorian series and other projects. Apart from that, it's noted that Ezra Bridger is set to be portrayed by two actors, one that will be played by an older actor to portray an older Ezra, and one that will serve as Ezra for scenes in the form of flashbacks in both The Mandalorian and the upcoming Ahsoka Tano TV series. Now, actor Mina Massoud from the Aladdin movie is set to portray the younger Bridger. Bridger is described to be portrayed by actor Mina Massoud for his younger self and a slightly older actor to portray an older version of Ezra. It's said that Favreau is planning to create an alliance between Grand Admiral Thrawn and Ezra during their time in the Unknown Regions and that the Red Nebula will be explored in the new series for Disney+. Plus. Now, apart from this, Disney is currently getting ready to use Ezra in the form of live action in a big way very soon, and that he will actually have a major role in The Mandalorian Season 3 and 4, as well as the Ahsoka series, which will put him in the worlds between worlds and more. Ezra is also said to have much knowledge about Grogu and will have some form of a connection to Luke Skywalker in the upcoming TV shows for Disney+. Now, Mina is already getting ready to portray the younger Ezra and that this other unknown actor has already been cast for Ezra and even did some scenes in advance with Jon Favreau for the Mandalorian TV series as a whole. So let's stop right there for a second. I want to go over this connection between Ezra Bridger and Luke Skywalker, and this is gonna be a big deal in the Mandalorian series for multiple reasons out there. So the thing about Ezra Bridger is that this character was born very close to the day that Luke was born. They're not really all that far apart, and that's exactly why, you know, a lot of fans are very much looking forward to seeing exactly how Favreau's gonna mix these fan favorite characters in the mix. Now, this connection between Luke and Ezra most likely has something to do with his new Jedi Temple and his new generation of Jedi. The other thing about Grand Admiral Thrawn seems to be a very unique situation. We all saw Thrawn and Ezra get pretty much launched into the Unknown Regions through hyperspace on that Star Destroyer at the end of Season 4 of Rebels. Now Favreau is going to be pretty much expanding on what happened after that, and how Thrawn and Ezra are going to form some kind of an alliance to get their way out of the Unknown Regions. Now, the Worlds Between Worlds is going to play somewhat of a role in all of this. We could pretty much see a scenario where Ahsoka Tano is going to pretty much, you know, return the favor. Give Ezra Bridger, you know, the portal to drag him out of the Unknown Regions. Pretty much what Ezra did to Ahsoka Tano. He was able to drag her out of the moment in which Darth Vader was about to kill her. This is going to be a very interesting scenario for, you know, The Mandalorian and the Ahsoka Tano TV series. And speaking about the worlds between worlds, if you come to think about it right now, 
you look at the logo for the Ahsoka Tano series, look very closely the next time you guys actually take a look at it. You can see patterns on there that actually do look like the worlds between worlds. So that actually matches directly up with all of this. You can see how little pieces of the puzzle are starting to connect very well here. So Ezra Bridger being portrayed by two different actors, I'm not quite sure how I really feel about that. I feel that, if anything, they could have just used Mina to portray both versions of Ezra and just made him look a little bit older, if anything. But obviously Disney has a detailed reason as to why they want to use two different actors for Ezra Bridger in the new series. So, yeah, guys, I mean, like I've said before in the past, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.